Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So I'm actually going to start a new project. Um, the Christmas journals are all but done and I will probably have that um, flip through for you either later today or tomorrow. I'm not sure which. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, so you remember how I said I wanted to make a Thanksgiving journal? Yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a Thanksgiving album. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it or not. I don't know yet. I might just keep it for myself. Um, I haven't decided, but sorry, this is really glary. Um, I went through my paper stash and I just grabbed an old, um, paper stack that, uh, I haven't used any of, and we're just going to make the album out of that. So we're going to use this. It's called Autumn Dream. It is by Craftsmith. It is just a regular scrapbook paper pad. It is not two-sided. It is one-sided, but that's okay. Um, it says, Autumn by far is Earth's most beautiful moment. It really is. It really is really pretty. I like fall and autumn. Um, so I don't know which one I want to be the cover. I haven't gotten that far. I just grabbed the paper pad and said, all right, let's go. Uh, oh, that's really pretty. It's got the definition over here. So we'll figure out some, oh, I like that. I think I might use that for the cover. Um, so we'll figure something out. But before we do that, we need to make our pages. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a template. This is some colored cardstock that I have to go with. Wow, the colors are not at all <laughs> what they look like. Like this looks like neon yellow. It is not neon yellow. Um, even this looks yellow. Y'all know these aren't yellow. That is so funny. This is orange, but it looks yellow very strange. Anyway, um, so I got some colored cardstock to go with the paper pad. Um, and this will be a lengthy process, but I figured I would just take you guys along for the ride. So this is just regular craft cardstock. It is Recollections brand. And I'm going to take the wrapper off. I'm going to attempt to take the wrapper off. And now I'm going to take the wrapper off. Ha <laughs> ha! I win, paper. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> okay. So it's just regular cardstock. And I'm also going to use a printable that I got a long, long, long time ago. And this one is Paper Dream, The Paper Dream. And it is by Genevieve Designs. Uh, it's a digital download. Uh, it does not come like this. You have to make your own little workbook if you decide to purchase it. Um, but I will <clears throat> see what I can do about remembering to put her link in the description box because this is the printable that I'm going to be using to create the mini album. Um, and there's all kinds of directions and such, but uh, I need to decide how many pages I want to have and how large of a book I want to have. So I think I'm going to do an album. So I think I'm going to look at, I want to do maybe a three, a two and a half, three inch spine. Um, so definitely need this one here. And you can also print these directly onto your page. You don't have to um, print them out or you don't have to trace them and cut them. And I think that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to print them out. Um, it just makes things a lot easier. Uh, let's see. Do have to decide what we're going to do how many pages we're going to have. So this is the main base. So 
that's the insert. And these are all the pieces. Okay, so there's the map for the cover. And the map for the cover. But I don't know that this will... Is that right? Yeah, no, that's not the cover. I didn't think that was the cover. I'm missing the cover somewhere. Where are you, cover? What page are you on? Inserts, inserts, inserts. Maps, 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 more maps. Covers, there they are. I found them. <laughs> on page 40. Okay, so this little part right here comes in handy a lot, especially if you've got them all out like this because it makes it super easy to find because the way that she's got it laid out, you know exactly what you're looking at. So um, I think what I'm going to do is, hmm. I think I'm going to make the rectangle one. Yeah, I think I'm going to make this rectangle one. So that's on page 41. Right there. All right. I'm going to use this one here. And so this is going to be our cover. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this and not trace it on orange. Where's our curse tractors? Uh, you know what I forgot to grab? I forgot to grab the chipboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this right on the top so I don't forget it or lose it. So now we know, excuse you, now we know that that's where that cover is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find some mats. So it's 58 and 60. And this is kind of what I do to go and like do my albums. I don't know if that's going to work. I'm just going to have to like write a mental note or something. And by write a mental note, I mean a sticky note. Cover page 41 portrait. All right. So if you guys don't want to see this particular process, let me know. And um, we will, I'll skip this part. Like I won't do this part and I'll do this part off camera. But I figured I would do it from start to finish. That way you guys could see every single thing that I do. Um, I had to click off of OBS because I touched my mouse. Anyway, um, I figured I would do it start to finish. That way you guys could see every single little thing that I do, you know? Um, so first of all, let's find our cover. What do we want our cover to be? And I think we decided on... Where is it at? This one? Where'd you go? This one? I really, really, really like this part up here. And so I think I'm going to do this part for the cover. Um, and we're going to do one sheet. And it should do the back, the front and the back cover. And I might actually be able to get my spine out of here, maybe, I'm not sure. But portrait is going to sit like this. So it's gonna be this big. 
It's not going to be a super huge book. And that's on page 58. Oh. So we're going to take this. I actually need to take, bring my scissors back. Um, hold on, let me double check something real quick. All right, that's not this one, but I do need this one. We need 61. the one that we need right here and we're going to put it here you do a lot of tracing but the great thing about this particular set is if you wanted to you could just print everything out and it would save you the whole tracing of the stencil type thing you know what I mean and then I'm going to pull on this side over here and see what we have left for our spine And that leaves us I would say about two and a half inches. Oh, I am so good. That is two and a half inches. All right, so we're gonna write on here. This is the front cover. This is the back cover, and this is the spine. Okay. So then we do a lot of back and forth with doing a mini album or a photo album or what have you. And I probably should have cleared off my desk, but alas, I did not. And so we have that piece to play with inside the journal, or not journal, but album, photo album. I mean, I guess it could be a journal. You could definitely write in it, for sure. There is nothing stopping you from writing in this. Okay, all right. So now we have, oh, that is so pretty. Front cover, back cover, spine. All from one 12 by 12 piece of paper. How awesome is that? Okay. Now our cover is going to be made from chipboard, not cardstock. You can make it from cardstock, but I do want it to last a good long bit. So let's find a color that's going to match these guys right here. And I was kind of thinking about this red, but I don't know what it's going to look like. I like that. I like that better. Gosh, I really wish this would show up the right color. Oh, it's terrible. So on camera, the red looks the best. <laughs> In person, this one looks the best. Because this is like this yellow color back here. That's what color this actually <laughs> is. Okay. Mm 
I'm just deciding because I know what it looks like in person, but on camera it looks hideous. Ugh. Oh, let's do the red. All right, so we're going to take one sheet of paper here. Oh, that really frustrates me. These are gorgeous fall colors, and they look like a, a lemon. It's just crazy. All right, so now we're going to take this mat here for the cover, and this is going to go just like that. You see? And it doesn't really matter the direction because it's not directional. It's just cardstock. I'm going to line that up. We're going to cut two of these out. And this one goes, yes, dear, yes, dear, here. Okay. Set that aside. Oh, that did not work. My line didn't go. I might need to sharpen my pencil. Did it go this way? No, why are you not? writing on the paper. Okay. Like I wouldn't draw on the paper. Like really? Come on. Okay. So bring our trimmer back out. Like I said, there is a lot of back and forth. Now what you could do is if you're really good about keeping everything straight, you could just print everything out and um, trace everything out that you want and then do it that way. And I have done it that way. But I end up printing out a lot more than will actually fit in the book. Because I get ambitious and I'm like, ooh, so pretty. Oh, that'd be cool. Oh, that'd be cool. And then I end up with so many pieces. All right. So we're going to label these, make sure I got the okay. cover mat, cover mat, and then this will sit just like that. Isn't that pretty? And I love the foil on this one. All right, so let's grab our spine piece here because I think that needs to be cut out uh, differently. All right, go back to our cover, or our instructions rather. Uh, mats, mat covers, cover spines. All right, so. <clears throat> Um, we need to figure out how many pages we want. I think the five pages might be too big. All right, so here are, here are the spines. So this one I think is the two and a half. Where are you, spine piece? Yeah. Oh, it's not long enough. How is that possible? 
Oh, because this is the map. That's why. So this, um, it actually can be this one. I'll just have to trim this down, and I'll show you how I do that. So take another red. Um, wait, does this one have a map to it? I don't remember. Yep. Okay. That's going to be our spine. And oh no, this is something different. You make square envelopes. I thought I had maps for these guys, but that's okay. I don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trace this out and then I'm going to cut it an eighth of an inch shorter because that's what this map, because this will be cut out of chipboard because this is the spine. So this will be cut out of chipboard. All right, four pages, half an inch. We could do five pages if we only do a quarter inch. Okay, so do you want to do that? Let's do the five pages, I think. No, I'd rather have the bigger gusset. Okay, sorry, I'm talking to myself, thinking out loud. Don't mind me. All right, so this one is half an inch, number 41, spine, four pages. Oops. All right, and it's okay that we write on it because we're going to cover it up anyway with decorative paper. So... Let's take this, cut this down. And then we're going to trim that. And I went ahead and cut it um, because I didn't think about it. But we're going to take off an eighth of an inch. And I can't do that with this one. Actually, I can. I just have to measure it. All right. Um, right there. All right. So my son made brownies this afternoon. And my youngest daughter, she has a terrible sweet tooth. Like, it's awful. And... Um, I'm pretty sure she's eaten like three of those brownies. And I'm like, girl, you are going to make yourself sick. All right. So I'm just coming down again, another eighth of an inch there. And now we have our map. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this same piece. I'll put this away because we don't need this anymore. I'm going to try to put it away. All right. I saw a picture on Facebook, I believe, and it was, um, oh, that's actually pretty perfect. So we need to take probably half an inch off of this. Let's try that. Um, anyway, I saw this picture on Facebook. And it was really funny because, or not half an inch, a quarter inch. Um, they showed their craft room and they were just like, you know, I have X, Y, and Z square footage of, you know, space to work in. By the time I am done working in a project, 
I am working in a six by six inch square space. And that is so incredibly true. Good night, I love you. That is so incredibly true. It is insane. All right, let's make sure. Yeah, I didn't think so. This one needs to come down a little bit more. That's what I can do. I'll just take this. Instead of sitting there trying to measure it again. That's just what I do. And I normally don't cut any straight lines with scissors, especially in the albums, because everything has to line up fairly well. Um, but it's a pretty small line, so it'd be aight. Now see, that makes way more sense. Perfect. Okay, so this will be our spine. This will be our back piece. Like this. That's upside down. Okay, like this. And then this will be our front piece. Like this. And that will be our book. Just like that. So we have the book. We just have to put the book together. And so in order to do that, we're going to need this piece right here and this piece right here for the main chipboard pieces. Now with the chipboard, um, you will need a knife of some sort um, and a straight edge ruler. We're going to do that in the next video though because I don't have any of that stuff readily available right this second like where I can just grab it. It's the chipboard for one is in the other room. It's in the bookshelf in my living room because I have my stuff spread everywhere. But anyway, I thought that was really funny about the picture um, with, with the, um, with the square footage, like, oh, I have this much square footage and, you know, I have to work in um, this much. It's funny. All right. Um, so we're actually using main base B, which are these. But that's not the page. Nope, there's no way that's the page. This is the page, I think this template that we used here. But I'm going to double check because that's what I do. Like I said, and I know this is very different for many of you, um, you know, going back and forth, not going back and forth, but just this process is very different for a lot of you because a lot of you are journalers and I am a generalized paper crafter. So I love doing all kinds of things. So what I'm looking for right now is I'm looking for the page itself, um, which is this part right here, uh, main base B part one and two. So this is what we're going to use. And this is for covers, uh, page 41, um, portrait. So we're looking for number four which is right here. And what we're going to do is I am going to print these, I think is what I'm going to do. Because I need to print these, or I need to copy these rather, on this paper and then find a color, another color. You know, I'm going to have to use these other colors. Well, I don't have to, I suppose, but they just, they work really, really well for, you know, what I'm working with. And I hate not to use them. So I think I'm going to alternate. I'm going to do an orange and a yellow. Or do I want to do, that's really pretty. Yeah, let's alternate those guys. So what are we doing? Four pages. So we'll do one, two, three, 
three, four on those two. And then we're going to need four of the red because this is one whole page. And so we're only going to need four pieces of paper. So one, two, three, four, and that's it. You do use a lot of cardstock in making an album. Um, and while these are actually, I don't know if I can even print these right now because I have to find the file on my computer. Um, so I don't even know if I can do that right this second. But I will print these off camera and then I'll cut them out off camera and have them all ready to go for you guys um, tomorrow. But um, that's going to be our pages. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use these to mat the pages. And that we're just going to trace it and we're going to cut it. So it's going to be super easy peasy. And we're going to put two on a page because we have a front and a back to the two pages. Wow, that is so disturbing. Why does that look so yellow? Oh, I wish I could figure out why this is like this. Um, no, that's not it. That is... No. I mean, it's definitely closer, but... I don't know what is happening. Like, why it doesn't like these colors. It's definitely better. And this looks cherry red now. Oh my gosh. Yeah, my camera just really, really, really doesn't like these colors. Did that do anything? No, not really. Wee, I made everything orange. Oh. That's actually, this is a little bit, got more red in it, but that is really close, like right there. Yeah, let's leave you guys there for a little while. What does my red look like? Oh, that's actually not too bad. Okay, we're going to leave you guys there for a little bit. All right, anyway, um, so we're going to make the pages, and then I'm going to find the inserts for these, which is going to be on page 20 here. And Lego. We can probably do more than that. All right, so I'm going to do one here. So this particular album, I believe she created this album to use up like the four by six cards because she um, she was a big user of Pri uh, Prime of Prima um, paper, and I'm gonna scoot this over ever so slightly because I want to make sure that it's a nice straight line. Um, actually, I can just butt it straight up. It's fine. So anyway, she was a user of Prima Paper, and they have, um, sorry about that, they have paper pads that are 4 by 6 I don't know that I have any handy. Um, and I believe that was why she created this particular template download was for the four by because to mat this you just need a four by six card and that's it oh i need this again hello actually we're going to cut those together and then we'll cut these two together so i'll put it here do this one and see, that's something else with uh, photo albums. I always had a pencil on my desk. Always. And 
see this is more orange than yellow. It's still showing up yellow. I have no idea what's going on with my camera. But it is not at all like these colors. And y'all are probably like, shut up about the color. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help it. All right, so that's done. And grab this again. All right, make sure that's nice and straight and even. And you can use these cutoffs for a lot too. Let me show you guys some of those. And since I stopped doing mini albums or photo albums, I don't really have a lot of scrap like this anymore. Like the these, because I stopped doing them. All right, so let's do this one. And then this one. And this will be most definitely a multi part, you know, start to finish. There's no way I can finish this in a day. It takes so much longer to do a photo album than it does a journal for me, not in general, for me. Because I'm, I'm literally constructing everything from scratch, from paper, chipboard, you know, all that jazz. So, well, it's already 40 minutes, but um, I wanted to show you guys that um, this is not four by six, I don't think. Oh, yeah, it is. But this would, if it was four by six, would just map straight onto that, just like that. Or if it was, you know, in the right theme, it's not. But isn't that pretty? And I do have some rice papers um, that we could play with too for different ephemeras and not ephemera, but uh, embellishments. Because we're, uh, I'll get into that later. But anyway. So we have our mats for our papers. We have our front cover. We have our back cover. We just need to make our actual cover. And um, I can show you guys um, how to do that. Um, that may or may not be in the next video, to be honest with you, because um, you kind of make the cover last-ish. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pages together because the pages, well, we'll do that on screen, but the pages are what you construct. And then once the pages are constructed, then you put it all together and then, you know, it slowly becomes a book. So anyway, with that being said, thank you guys so much. I know this is a very different video for me, um, for you guys. Um, but I do enjoy making these a lot and I really wanted a Thanksgiving album. So here I am making it and bringing you guys along for the ride. So thank you guys so much for joining me and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye guys.